couple of you have said you have so much of knowledge i keep giving so many tips and tricks out your life must be sorted well i have news for you and i would want your opinion tell me if i'm doing the right thing or maybe i should change tweak or completely adapt a different approach to my issue Hey there, my name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this is your first time here, do consider subscribing to my channel and while you're there, do not forget to press a bell icon so you're notified every time when I post a new video. All right, so let me give you a quick overview about my journey into self-care. It began during one of my lowest moments of my life. I felt so alone and lonely that I had no other option but to become my best friend. I started to talk to myself, reflecting, introspecting about my own actions, my own behavior, and during this time I've learned so much more about myself. During this phase, I started to do small small activities that made me feel good about myself. It made me feel special. And I've done it for so many years now that most of them are part of my lifestyle it's they're just habits let me give you an example i have a specific skincare schedule both in the morning and in the evening that i follow every single day it started off as a self care activity but now it is part of my lifestyle and i know that as i grow older i need to take more and more care about my skin so i'm very careful with that i work out at least 5 times a week at least and i ensure all i take all my vitamins regularly every single day I took some time but I finally got nutrition as part of my priority list. So even though I binge sometimes, I don't deprive myself of anything, but at the same time I'm very very careful that I have at least one meal which is absolutely power packed with nutrition. So that is again something that I started off as a self-care activity but it became a part of my life. I meditate and deep breathe to calm myself because I am a very hyper person and I get I react easily and it took me a lot of time for me to understand what is the right way to calm myself and not really react to any kind of situation whether it is a situation or a person and you know what i mean and since i've been practicing it for so many years i am comparatively better off i am in control of myself and my reactions and i tell myself i'm not going to let this person or the situation ruin my mood however contrary to what it appears my life isn't perfect and neither am i and couple of you have said you have so much of knowledge i keep giving so many tips and tricks out your life must be sorted well i have news for you i don't think anybody's lives are really sorted it's always work in progress we need to find our own systems find our own methods to deal with everyday situations and to prove a point i'm going to talk to you about one of the areas that i'm struggling with um no actually it's not a struggle there are certain areas that uh, i am really trying to get a system or get a mechanism in place so that i can reach where i want to go and one such area is keeping my head empty of thoughts that has been a huge challenge for me so far so here's what happens my mind is bombarded with a lot of thoughts whether it is my own life whether it is Uh, something to do with the business about the kind of content i want to create or how do i push it on social media so my head is always buzzing the result of it is it starts interfering in other areas of your life i've recognized this issue and i decided that i have to do something about it i do recognize that there is no such thing as an empty brain or empty mind uh, and our brains are made to think so i know it is not possible for my mind to be completely empty however i wanted to try to limit the number of thoughts i have in my head because those thoughts are not really serving me any purpose is, is that's what i feel right now i don't know how they would really serve me in future so before i get there as to what i'm following right now let me tell you what i what i have tried already i tried meditation as long as i'm in a meditative mode that's okay i'm able to concentrate on my breath but the moment i am out of that meditation mode is when i'm back to square one another thing that i've tried to do is to divert my mind and i've spoken about this in one of my videos diverting my mind is basically replacing one thought with another thought 
uh, although that replacing thought is a happy thought, goal here is that I don't want to have thoughts at all. So that I'm 100% in the moment, 100% mindful. Another thing that I tried is to write it down, you know, in a piece of paper or in a notepad on my phone. However, most of the times when I am in the thought, I forget to write it down. So here's what I've been doing. Um, every evening when before I turning in, I have a small self-care routine. After that, I take one minute only and write down the thoughts that are in my mind at that moment into a book, which is into this small book and uh, a predominant thought that has been with me throughout the day. So I just take just one minute to write it down in a book. Why book? Because I do not want an electronic device around me uh, before I sleep because it interferes into your sleep patterns. The thought behind putting it down in, the, in this book is that eventually I want to act on these thoughts. I just don't want to think it and forget, you know, write it down and forget about it. I want to act on, on them. And uh, that helps me not to overthink, but store it in such a place that I can go back and think about it and make that happen. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'll let you know if this works or no, maybe in a couple of months. However, if you have any bright idea that can help me empty my head, do let me know. I would love to experiment it. I would love to have a conversation with you and try it out. Do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. I'm not sure if this video is resourceful for you, but if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And of course, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel, subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.